such a high pressure and I heard that's true for the entire Asian country because of the competition getting so high. There are Olympiads, math Olympiads, almost every second, third week where they have to compete. And the students are sitting at home learning longer than their parents are working. Their parents are sitting in front of the TV while the students are working. And that's especially because the parents await the student to be the winner, the number one. Because only the number one in our world counts. Number two is not interesting already. So those are the problems we are facing. And when I started out as an educator and a teacher, I had a long life journey through many different things, traveling the world. I'm now a business founder and I have three academies running in different areas. And what we see in our team, where we work with a bachelor of education, we have an educational scientist, we can see that one thing is true for the entire world, and that is education is lopsided. So either education focuses on competition, or it focuses on grades, or it focuses on social competence, but we, what we don't find is a balanced system all over the world. In a German language, it's very rare that we have two words for education. We can't actually say it with one word when we speak German. We have one word for education that defines the education in knowledge, what is important, and the other one is the education in character. It's the social competence, it's how society will grow. And that was separated in the terminology to show the importance of both parts. Nowadays, the world is moving towards competition. The world is moving towards getting better, implementing more of the innovative things like Facebook and Twitter and internet and computer, what is very important. But again, we are going lopsided. We are again only focusing on one area of education. What is for sure is that computer pays a huge contribute in getting the attention of the student. Because students are very used to use all of this equipment nowadays, so they are interested in using it. But it can't be the only factor. And a university professor in Austria already wrote a book about digital dementia, what we will face very soon. He did this study in Korea and it's moving forward that the brain cells of the students and of adults are differently growing because of overuse of internet. That's a really interesting factor that we will face in some years.